Hello everyone, welcome back uh, for another episode uh, for the screencast. The screencast I'm going to be doing today is showing you how to install PrestaShop uh, using XAMPP. Um, so this is for e-commerce uh, web stores and things like that that you see like Amazon, eBay, and other, other stores, Zappos, uh, things like that. So what we what we want to do is make sure you have your XAMPP running. Uh, make sure you have your server running, that is. And you want to open any browser. I'm using Chrome. Uh, type localhost forward slash XAMPP in the address bar. And you're going to go to PHP My Admin and go ahead and create a database uh, for PrestaShop. I created mine as PrestaShop 101. You can do whatever you want. And once you do that, you want to go to prestashop.com. And once you go there, you want to hit the download button. And you'll be asked to enter your name and email and choose what, what you are, a merchant, developer, web agency, or other. Once you do that, you click download. It'll give you a link to download uh, the, the open source software. Once you have that, you're going to want to um, open a new tab, type local host slash uh, xamp actually I'm sorry localhost forward slash presta shop 101 you'll be redirected to this page this is the inst wizard installer I'm gonna go ahead and choose the language mine is English and we're gonna do a full installation um, so basically we're going to, and you'll see update, there's no update, so we got the latest version. I'm going to go ahead and hit agree and hit next. It's going to come up with the system permissions. It'll run through that, the compatibility. It'll redirect you here. Uh, the database name for me is 101. Press the shop 101 is root. There's no password. And the database engine, just leave it as that. Press the shop prefix ps underscore. Leave it that way. Um, we're going to include the full mode um, and to send a test email we're just going to enter our email address in here and we'll send uh, we'll do verify and it'll say database is connected and we're going to send a test email so assuming it, it's sent okay and then we're going to go next it may take a couple of minutes for it to load you'll see the preloader up here and if I run out of time I'll be back for part two of this version uh, but if we get it done here all in one which I'm hoping then we will be good to go alright now we're ready to configure our shop so in here I'm gonna call the shop name I'm gonna do um, I'm just gonna do my Presta shop and uh, main activity uh, what you want I'm just gonna do other default country I'm in the United States so be sure to choose wisely um, time zone is Eastern it does that for me catalog mode if you activate this feature all purchase will be disabled you can activate this feature later in your back office we're gonna go ahead and hit let's say no I'm going to type in my first name, last name. Um, I'm going to create a password. Um, so just whatever you know you want. I believe you can change this information later. And um, you can check to receive notifications. It doesn't doesn't really matter because this is done locally. So we'll just go ahead and hit next. Should I'm not sure why it's not moving. Maybe that's why. You might have to uncheck receive notifications by email for it to work. Um, there we go. Okay, so make sure you uncheck that email uh, warning there. 